How did you get involved with the project? Well, like all the Sandler films, uh, there's a telephone call. Hey, Neilan, you want to do this film? I said, sure, I'll do it, man. I don't care what it is. Let's go. When do we start? <laughs> That's Must be nice. Yeah. Um, <laughs> no, it's, um, you know, Adam called me and he told me about it. I said, it sounds like a good idea. And it's uh, in South Africa, great. I, I'd love to go to South Africa. And, um, and it's pretty a uh, no-brainer for me. And it was a good story, too. I like the story. And I like the idea that I was able to, you know, have my way with it young lady. Oh, yes, we'll get to that. <laughs> and how about you? How did you get involved with the project? Um, I had basically the most important audition of my life, and the casting directors were amazing. Um, Barbara and Angela made me feel really comfortable. My background is in sketch comedy and improv, so I improvised a little bit, and I could hear other people auditioning through the walls, and because it's one of those old buildings in Koreatown. Um, and I, people had a different interpretation, I think. Um, they wanted to be like a cheerleader who liked the attention. I think that she just receives attention because she's a well-meaning dum-dum who likes to dress provocatively. Mm -hmm. But, uh, <laughs> um, yeah, then I had a, a few more auditions for it, and then they, I really need to thank them so much because they took a chance on me. I'm an unknown kid and I'm a comedian, not a model, so I think that's really, really awesome that they took a chance with me. They had to vet her for a long time and just, you know, yeah. really <laughs> find I had out a wiretap on my phone for a while. You need to make sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's get to your characters, Eddie and Ginger. Can you describe those two and together? Yeah, well, of course, Eddie is a lot older than Ginger. About and three in, years. In real life, my wife is uh, somewhat younger than me, so um, that's my, my background for my character work there. But uh, Eddie's been married once before. He has a 16-year-old son, and he's totally in love with the Ginger character, and he's not afraid to show it. Public affection is, is no, <clears throat> no issue for him. And, um, and they're out to have a good time in South Africa at this resort. And he's, and he's not just affectionate with her, but he's also a fun-loving guy and very gregarious. He likes other people, too. He wants to include them all in his world. Jessica? Um, I <laughs> agree with everything you said. Um, yeah, and I think they just really love each other. And it's this new love, and it's really strong. And they, like the entire world melts away when they're together. They're not doing it to be ob kissing to make, be obnoxious. No. They just really frickin' love each other. Can't keep their hands off each other. They seem like the happiest couple in the world. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I imagine that that union is gonna last a long time. I do, too. And that passion. That's Because the passion never dies. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> now, um, Ginger has a unique way of expressing herself. Mm -hmm. What is that that she does? Um, well, she has a baby voice and she likes to shimmy. She does a <laughs> lot of shimmying. That's sort of her thing. I think she just forgets how big her boobs are. Oh. And she just, she's always done it. And people have always, it's like Pavlov's dog. People give her a positive response when she's done it before. So now she does it all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure Eddie loves it. Sorry, yeah, yeah, <laughs> Now you both have obviously comedy and improv in your backgrounds. Were you given the liberty, or did you take the liberty to to put in some improv into the film? Well, I think it's a little bit of both. You know, uh, on Sandler films, they're always looking for something funnier, something, some way to, um, you know, add to the scene. And um, and we felt so comfortable. And I've known Sandler for a long time, and I think Jessica kind of saw that when she came on the film. She saw that there was these opportunities just to, you know, bring out the best in you and, and bring your comedy there. And, um, and it was a safe environment, so. Yeah, they were so supportive, so friendly, encouraging, which I needed. Um, because it's my first film, I was so nervous when I got there. Everything made me nauseous. It wasn't the food, it was just me constantly just so nervous, but eventually- Nervous, like after but not insecure. Just nervous. Yeah. She wanted to do a good job. Yeah. She's a professional. Exactly. Um, so after like two, like three days, I was like, oh, I can do a good job at this, and they're going to help me do the best job I can possibly do. So that was the best. So, and you're in South Africa. How, were there any challenges uh, filming there, or was it, what was the experience? Like? I think um, 
Well, the challenges were the uh, wild animals, uh, the temperature. It was winter while we were shooting there, and a lot of night shoots. Where it was absolutely free. I've never been so cold in my life, and I've been to, you know, the most northern point in the con North, North American continent, and up and way up in Alaska. But this was some kind of a bone chilling cold that you just couldn't get warm and we were standing near the heaters and it was supposed to be in the summer so when we shot we had to take off the down coats and get away from the heater. Yeah and Ginger's we, wearing like basically like bandages, just yeah. like colored bandages. And how about working with all those kids? Those kids were great. Yeah. They were so, um, and they were so appreciative to be in, we were all so appreciative to be in this beautiful country. That's fantastic. Well, the film's great. It's uh, everybody's loving it. So we wish it all the Good. best. And thank you thank so you much. Thank you so much.